Hello everyone, welcome to the NPTEL course Climate Change and Extreme Events. My name is Dr. Somil Sonkar. I am an assistant professor at Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, ISAR Bhopal. Uh, this is a 12 weeks long course where we primarily look into uh, different types of climate extremes as well as uh, how do we model them and how do we quantitatively estimate their, let's say, occurrences, frequencies and magnitudes, etc. So, as we all know that climate change is uh, happening and therefore, uh, lots of, you know, uh, climate extremes events are, uh, we are witnessing, for example, uh, flood event or drought event or, let's say, uh, forest fire or there are so many linked, you know, climate extremes events are happening all over the world. Therefore, this course will give you an opportunity to learn about how we can model these climate extremes based on uh, different sets of data sets as well as, uh, uh, you know, some of the conventional methods as well and some of the advanced techniques which are currently evolving, for example, uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning based or remote sensing based you know different types of methodologies as well. So, uh, this course will uh, you know expose to all of these different aspect of uh, methodological development as well as uh, introduction to different types of climate extremes as well. So, basically we will start with this course uh, in the module 1 and 2 we will primarily talk about what is exactly climate and what is exactly weather. Basically, we will talk about the simple definition of different types of climates and weather processes and all. Then we will also discuss about in the module 1 and uh, module 2, we will also talk about what kind of the tools and data sets are available which can give you an insight about uh, different types of climate processes and their uh, behavior and their change in the behavior over the past 40, 50 years, for example. Then uh, in the module 3 and 4, we will talk about different types of tools. For example, uh, we will, uh, you know, discuss about uh, extreme value theory uh, or basically we will talk about some sort of uh, predictive time series modeling, very simple predictive time series modeling. How do we handle, uh, how do we apply these kind of, you know, uh, predictive tools or uh, different types of distributions or frequency analysis and all. To, to the, uh, you know, climate extremes data set and then we can uh, able to understand uh, whether, uh, you know, we have more frequent occurrences of the climate extremes events across different parts of the world. We will also uh, delve into, you know, different types of case studies as well, which will tell you about uh, the ground application of these uh, predictive modeling into the ground uh, or uh, observed data set using different types of you know, different types of areas, different types of case studies and all like that. In module 4, primarily we will talk about what is the socio-economic and policy implications and physiological and geographical impacts of these climate extremes across different parts of the world. We will also primarily, uh, you know, emphasize on uh, uh, what is the, this climate extremes impacts on, for example, the developing nations and what is their policies which is they are implementing on the ground to to, to mitigate or uh, basically to, to uh, you know, uh, reduce the effect of this climate extremes in diff different parts of the regions as well. And we will also talk about some sort of global uh, socio-economic policies uh, which has been, de you know, discussed by different nations and uh, which has including uh, developed nations, developing nations as well. In the last, you know, module which is module 6 of this course, we will primarily talk about different types of advanced tools, for example, evolving, you know, big data or let's say machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, models and different types of, you know, remote sensing applications and all so that how we can further, you know, uh, uh, enhance our understanding toward the climate extremes and how we can basically get in beforehand information about all these climate extremes which are happening uh, different parts of the world as well. So, what is this course for basically? This course is primarily designed for uh, postgraduate uh, and PhD students. Uh, uh, the higher, you know, uh, levels undergraduate students can also get uh, advantage from this particular course as well. And uh, primarily, they will expose to uh, different sets of uh, theories which are 
climate science, climate extremes as well. And they will also learn about, you know, uh, different types of methods which can be used to uh, model uh, different types of climate processes and climate extremes particularly. And also they will also learn about, you know, hands-on experience on different types of data set. For example, uh, Google Earth Engine, for example, different types of reanalysis product or different types of, let's say, climate models data set, how we can, uh, they can download the data and then they can do some sort of, you know, uh, uh, their own modeling for their reasons as well. Uh, so, uh, so uh, uh, in the conclusion of uh, basically, I can tell that this course will give you an insight about what is exactly climate extremes, uh, how do we, uh, uh, you know, get an further or more refined insight about uh, the evolving nature of the climate extremes due to you know climate change and different types of anthro anthropogenic pressures uh, and uh, how we can quantify their nature or their frequencies or their magnitude this course will give you all these information and that will help you out to uh, for for example let's say policy dissemination or uh, uh, several types of ground applications as well. Thank you so much for listening to this video.